Hello everybody. Hi there. My name is Mikey. And I'm Trevor. And we're just here guys because we're really bored. <laughs> <laughs> like <laughs> most of you are. <laughs> no, but seriously, we're here because we just want to answer some questions for you guys, give you guys some insights on what's going on with Renew Church, uh, plug you to different resources, and um, just just give you guys some encouragement as we're all just going through this this weird time. Yeah, no, for sure. This is... This is um, uh, something unlike, I think, anything any of us have ever seen before, a worldwide uh, epidemic. Uh, my daughter told me that's called a pandemic, I guess. So whatever it is, like it's, it's, it's a crazy time. Um, and yeah, we're just trying to navigate it. And, and as the, the church and as the leaders in the church, we're just trying to kind of tell you where we're at and what's going on. So thanks for tuning in for, for however long this takes yeah that's so right we're not in any rush right because yeah, that's one thing everybody seems to have a lot of right now <laughs> time, is time yeah <laughs> for so, sure yeah yeah and also like if you guys have any ideas of any videos or i guess anything that you guys want us to try out or do um send us a message you know message uh renew uh, yeah no, Miami. or or put it in the in the chat like yeah. literally you guys could actually um engage in this because it's going to show up on our uh, Facebook and Instagram TV but like uh, you know message us through that let us know what you guys are doing what's going on some of the things that um, you know your families are, are doing to kind of pass the time or get through the things that that are happening yeah we're gonna be good yeah right absolutely cool hey we're, we're here we might as well make the best of it right for sure for sure that's what we got to do that's right that's right so all right so we'll get into some of the questions um have you eaten through all your quarantine snacks? <laughs> this was this guy's question. This was uh, that wasn't my question. That was his question. So have I eaten through all of my quarantine snacks? No, I have. I still have some pretzels left. Nice. Um, tired of pretzels. We've still got some fruit, so that's good. There's a little bit of fresh food there. Um, yeah, and the grocery store is still open, 8 a.m. to 8 yeah, p.m. That's true. Publix is is still open, and we're surviving on that. But. Do you have uh, toilet paper? I do. Yeah, that would have been a good question to ask. Uh, I do have toilet paper. Uh, that thing is crazy, huh? It's so crazy. Uh, bizarre. I don't know what to say. Like, uh, And I'm tired of the memes. I really am tired of the memes. <laughs> so do not share with me your meme in the chat. That will get deleted. <laughs> uh, anyway. All right. So what about you, man? Did you... um? What, what's what's the, the the food of choice? What is the... the, the, the snack of choice right now for the Bermudez house man so my wife and I we have totally different taste buds she likes sweet stuff I like salty stuff and so like I can eat through a bag of Cape Cod chips like in a day nice. so good yeah. so that's our thing right now um, but on a serious note we are running low on hand sanitizer yeah. and I literally can't find hand sanitizer anywhere no anywhere so you just have to use um soap and water <laughs> yeah so, but if i'm at Publix, yeah sure so maybe you could just like take a bottle of soap and bottles of water with you yeah that's you literally that's you. ideal <laughs> yeah <laughs> that's not weird at all better than your germ written hands bro <laughs> come on all right yeah you're right it is really hard i don't, I don't know what to do we don't have a lot of hand sanitizer add some extra toilet paper if you need there we it. go but yeah. i don't have the hand sanitizer <laughs> i don't have an excessive amount oh. uh, in fact i think there's a bottle missing from here did you steal no, it that was not me. No, i'm just no, kidding, that wasn't I'm just me. kidding. we're by the way inside the um what he calls misfit hq that's right this is misfit youth's headquarters and that's cool so you can't really see it unless i was to like do a 360 view but <laughs> That probably wouldn't be as cool as this little frame right here with the with the with the background of the wall and so if, if you have teenagers i want to encourage you when this whole thing's over bring them here don't bring them here tonight there's no youth group tonight right no. okay <laughs> um but bring them here for sure that's right thank cool. you for that yeah you bet you bet awesome um what what um let me ask you about that like what is what is the plans for misfit like what are you all um, doing in the in the interim period right now we're not encouraging kids to to, to uh, connect um, 
you know, personally right now. So what are you guys doing? What's the plan? We're praying. Praying. No, for sure. uh, we are praying, <laughs> yeah. but um, we're we're trying to set up um, a digital experience for our students. Mm -hmm. um, we want to get them connected to um, to Zoom. Mm -hmm. It's the you know face to face um, app thing. I'm not very technologically mm -hmm. advanced. Yeah. But um, we're trying to get students connected to Zoom. We want to continue to push out messages, continue to push out um, our small groups, um, get the FaceTime together, um, and just continue to kind of do the things that we would do as if we were in here, but just over our phones. And so um, for any of our students who are watching or any parents of our students watching, um, just know that something soon is coming. We're working very hard, me and the rest of our um, volunteers at Misfit Youth. And, um, you know, we would like to be face to face with um, our students, but this is where we are, but we're gonna make the best of it, I promise. Cool. Probably this week you'll have something out for the students, right? Absolutely, very, yeah. like very, very soon. Yeah, yeah. okay, awesome, awesome. So yeah, it's, it's uh, challenging times. I mean, obviously, maybe you guys saw that if you didn't, um, we, we pre-recorded our, our service um, for Sunday and we replayed it again on Monday and Tuesday. And we kind of like trying different platforms to use to see what's working best and ways to connect and, and, and do that. Um, so we'll probably still kind of like try different things and, and see what's working. Um, but yeah, that's that's the direction that we're in. Um, Norma Butler Bassar, the home of Renew Church, gave us notice that we um, are unable to meet there uh, until further notice, and that goes for every school, uh, every rental facility um, that that churches are doing at those schools, um, you know, across the county. Yeah. But God's in control, and we're seeing this as an opportunity. Like we're not looking at it as a negative. Um, we've never had online services before, and this weekend um, we've seen nine people make a decision for Christ through awesome. our digital platform, through Renew Church Online. Um, maybe that's what we're going to call it. I don't know. Yeah. Um, I was even thinking of calling this Inside Edition. Get it? Like Inside? Since we can work Yeah. <laughs> but like that's an awesome, awesome thing. Praise God for that. And um, so we're just, uh, and we'll never go back. I mean, we're going to obviously go back to a physical location and a physical service, but we'll never stop. I think, like, God willing, we're going to continue to have an online presence with a, um, you know, a recorded service so that people can go that miss the services, miss, miss church. So I'm excited about that and um, thinking that, you know, instead of looking this as completely negative, you know, I'm thinking about the, the ways in which this this is, you know, working out for the good for those who love God, Romans 8, 20. Amen. You know, so, um, yeah. Amen. So Sounds that's awesome. what's up, man. I like that's it. That's what's up. So it's good stuff. All right, so let's continue with the questions. Um, now that we're all quarantined and or hmm. trying to stay home as as much as we possibly maybe can. not quarantined like quarantines means <laughs> i think it means like you literally have yeah. covid 19 but isolating ourselves isolating right? that yeah. is a better okay. word to use okay so since we're all isolating ourselves right mm -hmm. um how often are you looking at your phone uh too much yeah, yeah. iphone is telling me you know my percentages <laughs> are higher and I, I i'm not because i really want to uh, and I, I want to turn the news off. It's just, I don't know. It's just a lot. Like that's, that's everything that we're doing right now yeah. is, you know, through, through this means of communication, whether it be through the social media or, or talking to people or texting people, like I'm still trying to pastor people, yeah. but I'm having to do it through a, you know, a little six inch yeah, yeah. box in my pocket. Definitely. So Definitely. how about you? too much yeah yeah like too much that's but it's kind of like um it helps you realize how we spend too much time on that thing yeah no, and for sure. especially in this season um it's almost like a reaction for most of us to all right we got nothing to do let me continue to just scroll and see what's yeah. on you know the news or see what's the latest with with the situation or or let me see instagram or facebook or just whatever it is youtube right. it could right. be whatever um yeah. And so we kind of use the excuse, well, you know, I got nothing else to do. Might as well just do that. But um, I think we should use that extra time that we have. Still use our phones because, like you said, you got to pastor people, but now you're pastoring to them through a phone. Um, I think we can focus on some of our relationships a little bit yeah, more. You good. know, we don't have all the, you know, activities and 
commitments that we have to go to on on a nightly basis yeah and so the time that we do have and you know once you're obviously not just neglecting your family and going on your phone no, right. but the free time that you do have um reach out to some people talk to some people Good. see how they're doing and um you know let's try to limit the time that we're just yeah that's good that's good like this unlike any other time in all of history like because the, the the speed of technology like everybody's busy all the time with something but like this has brought our world like to like a snail's pace to to the point where we're doing you know there's no no sporting events to go to there's no restaurants to eat at there's um like anything extracurricular is on hold and so like let's take advantage of that let, yeah. let, let's look at opportunities to make um relationships stronger inside our house yeah you um, know and you know using the box in your, your pocket to to call somebody yeah. um you know that may not have those people in their home that may be kind of like um shut in or just feeling alone or discouraged or going through this really like taking this whole thing really really hard like yeah. this is an opportunity to be a minister and bless somebody like one thing that's happening with us we've been outside more here in the last couple of days few days my wife has been pulling weeds like crazy i think she's just tired of seeing my girls so she she like cleaned out the flower beds in our backyard like crazy but my daughters are in the backyard and then she's she's bouncing up and down on the trampoline and she sees a kid that she knew a little girl that she knew uh and met a few months ago but they haven't talked and so we walked over there cool. and spent some time and they came over to the house last night and and uh, like some some cool things have came about like through that really really cool so um look for those opportunities that otherwise because of our pace of life you know i haven't seen those people in two and a half months and all of a sudden now i'm um you know connecting with our new neighbors that have two daughters and it's good you man know, they're hanging out with my two daughters awesome Isn't that good that is very good so there's there's some there's some positive to see in light of the negative absolutely yeah. absolutely we believe that so and so let's just try to shift our focus to renew church yeah um what's happening yeah so basically um you know as you know um we're not having physical services but we still are encouraging our people um you know to look for opportunities to reach out to 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 serve um to help one another like our our church is comprised of of volunteers that that make that church happen every single week like there's so many people that come together to make our services happen and now all of a sudden you guys aren't doing anything with that and you might be feeling like wow i don't know what to do <laughs> but there are still ways that you can you know do outreach there are still ways that you can like um you can serve like you can you can use that like the tools that you have to to help renew church by like telling people hey um share this video um share the post uh encourage people to pray with us at at 12 19 by the way we're praying at 12 19 every day for COVID 19 um and just praying that god would help uh this this epidemic and and for god to to be with those other parts of the world and and first responders and the leaders and and those that are working on the research to to find the um the the vaccines and all of that you know um so um we're encouraging people to still reach out we're encouraging people to still connect to engage in groups our groups are different now um we're not doing the even though the president said 10 or less we're not doing the personal uh one-to-one -one or individual groups we're encouraging people to um still keep the distance the safe distance um but we're working on kind of like what you guys are with misfit like a zoom group and some different things we're working on um some um different types of alternative groups and if you're not in one of those um i would encourage you to get in one of those you can uh message me you can you can text me um we're gonna have the links up here really soon here in the next few days to to some of those groups so that you can just jump in on those um and um you know we just we we want people to be a part of them i think people right now because we are so isolated they're yearning for relationships so i think this is a great time on that that side of the token like that that yeah we're not able to see each other but like all of a sudden we need those relationships yeah you know so um i want to encourage people to reach out to 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 um to serve in opportunities ways that you can maybe it's you know uh ways that you never thought you could 
um, and then connect, um, you know, digitally, electronically, however you want to do it. There's a conference call group tonight. So if you're like, well, I'm not really great with phones, um, then you're probably not watching this. But if you are, um, aren't, and somebody else is showing it to you, you could, you could do the conference call in uh, group that's happening tonight. You can dial in the number and be a part of that. And then the, the third one is worship. Um, we're going to be setting up um, worship services, Renew Church Online, uh, on a regular basis. Sundays at 1030, that's going to be our main service. And we are challenging you to commit to worship. Like, not just like mow the yard and listen to it, but literally get your family ready. Lead your families in this. If you have a family, if you're alone, fine, or whatever. But like, um, like commit to worship during that time. 1030 is church. And join us at that time. There's there's going to be an interactive portion to that. If you saw last week's, there's there's opportunity to engage. There's opportunity to, to share. There's opportunity to answer questions. We're going to have interactive uh, times in the message. Um, there's kids ministry that's going to be taking place in that um, with a, a, a Bible lesson and, and printable guides for the kids. There's opportunities to give through that. Obviously, the needs of the church and the 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 um, you know some of the our our um, responsibilities are still there. Like you can give through the giving link there. So if you go to renew.miami and click on the red link at the top, there will be opportunities for you to do that. We want you to um, to really uh, take serious that time of of leaning in and being a part and engaging as if you were literally physically in the service. You know, so it's awesome. That makes sense. Yeah. So. Yeah, it's it's important, man, that we do that. I've I've been saying it for the last week or so. We may cancel a service, but we'll never cancel church. That's like good. the church is more than ten thirty, um, you know, in West Kendall. The church is um, the body of Christ coming together. Yeah, Does that sound good. It's really good. Thank you. Kind of answered my next question too. Yeah. Yeah. What was what was your next question? My next question was, um, how do we stay involved? Yeah. Well, I'm sorry. I did jump no, a little bit was, ahead, but good, but um yeah, I that's 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 the thing. Like um just do that. Reach out to me. Like Renew, we're not a huge church, so you call me, you text me. If you need something, let me know. Let us let us serve you. Let us be a part of helping you. Um but you know, let's let's stay connected. Let's stay together and pray together, right? That's right. I mean, it, that's so important. And um so Please don't um, fall out of fellowship, even though we can't be together physically. Let's stay together, um, you know, by praying together and staying together. Yeah, no, that's good. And I think a lot of times, you know, before all of this started happening, when we were kind of just in the hustle and bustle of life, when things come up, right, when a situation comes up, when we are feeling a certain kind of way or whatever, just because of life, I feel like sometimes we can use the excuse of, no, I, I'm, I don't want to reach out to Trevor. Mm -hmm. You know, he's probably got too many things going on, or I don't want to reach out to this person from my small group. Uh, you know, it's late, or, it's, or you know, I, they're, they're doing something with the kids. And now we have all this time yeah. now to just really connect and 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 to communicate with our brothers and sisters in That's Christ good. and good. and to, to, you know, share our burdens with one another because we're, we're, we're all feeling it. You know, we, we're all... A little worried we're all a little uncertain of what's going on but um we're a community of believers you know our hope is in something much greater than COVID 19 and, and and the fear that's going on in this country our hope is in jesus christ amen and so with all this free time i think we should use that time to take advantage of that and get closer to jesus to be in his word to like you said lead your family into worship and to um, just lean on your brothers and sisters in Christ. Maybe not in person, face to face, mm -hmm. but definitely di uh, digitally. Give them a phone call, FaceTime, you know, whatever. Um, this is a time for us to rally around each other. That's and, good. And That's to good. Uh, just remember that that um, we have the ultimate hope. Amen. Amen. Yeah, that's that's right, man. Um, in the midst of everything going on, I'm I'm been leaning on this verse here today. Psalms chapter 46 and um, let's see if I can find it God is our refuge and our strength and ever present help in trouble you know so so like think about that like um, we, we may be in trouble right now but uh, he is ever present that means he's never left us that means he's right here in our midst 
He knows what we're going through. He knows what we're facing. He knows what we went through and what we're going to go through. So let's just let's just trust God in that. Let let's let Him be our refuge and our strength in these difficult days that we're going through. And if there's anything that I can do for you, um, and you let me know, I hope that you'll get connected. I hope that you'll stay a part of um, Renew. And um, yeah, like Mikey said, spread the word, tell some people, invite people, share our content and tell people, hey, you guys ought to be a part of this church. It's a good church. Yeah. All right. Absolutely. Thanks, Mikey. That's yeah. it, right? Yeah, that's it. We're good. All right, guys. Thank you. See you.